hi guys welcome to salesforce troop this is the second video of our spring 22 features series and in this video we learn the second type of adapter called get related list info and we use this adapter to get the metadata for the related list and to use this feature right now you still need a pre-release spring 22 developer org if you don't have just sign up and then try this feature so let's go to our VS code and create a new component and we'll give this component name as get related list info demo and we'll first import this adapter and the adapter name is get related list info and this adapter is available under lightning slash UI related list API and now we have our adapter available and to use or call this adapter we need a wire service so let's import the wire and then we'll use the adapter with the wire service I'll pass the adapter name to a wire and then it takes certain parameters and in this case we, we can pass three types of parameters so first one is parent object pi name and just as a comment this is an api name of a parent object that you want to get related list for in our case we're gonna pass the object api name as account we'll use account for our all the demos and then the second parameter is the related list id and this is the api name of the related list object api name of related list object and in our case again we'll go with the same context we can go with opportunities or case anything but contact is easy to demonstrate i'll pass the related list id contacts and there is third parameter that is an optional parameter that is record type id and this is an optional one so it's up to us whether we want to use it or not but in, the, in real time we might have a scenario where we have different types of record types so if we want a particular record type then we can pass the record type id here but for time being i'll comment this out will not use this one and now what we're gonna do is we'll use this as a function so we'll create our function name so i'll say list info handler it will receive data and error and we'll say if data comes print the data console.log we'll use json.stringify to view the data otherwise we'll check if error comes print the errors console dot error so now our adapter calling is completed and we have to deploy this and to deploy this i'll go to the previous demo meta file i'll just copy this i hope till now you know how this works quickly so our api version is 54 is exposed is true so that this component is visible on the pages and which all pages it will be visible it will be visible on the targets that we have defined app page or record page but it's up to you whether you want it for a community page home page anything you can add here so let's right click and deploy this and in before that we can create a lightning card as well so that at least we can see something on the screen i'll say title get related list info in demo and we can create the class 
SLDS where adding I need around and of medium size and here we'll say div something will come here I don't know what data will come we'll see let's deploy it again let's go to our org so we already have app available so let's place a new component on the same page inside our app so i'll go to the edit page scroll down and we can see our component get related list info demo so i'll place it below this and i'll save it and let's go back so component has been placed successfully we can see on the screen and let's go and check the console if we are getting the data or not so we are getting the data and to verify it you can see on the right hand side the name of the component get related list info demo so i'll copy this and see what data is coming and i'll clean this out and paste it again now it will be pasted in form of object so we can able to see that now you can see it's giving the metadata that's what this component do so this uh, basically this adapter do so this adapter gives us the metadata for a particular related list in our case the related list is a context and so what else it's giving it's giving the field api name display columns and display columns has name title email phone number and lookup and sortable all these description is coming and order by info the names are order by last name apart from if you go to list reference it giving us the same related list id type and all the stuff visibility is public and preferences email and all those information is coming so we are successfully able to fetch the metadata for context related list and just for the sake we can print something on the screen we can print the columns display columns on the screen if you want so let's go and print something so we got the data we'll create a variable or property basically related list data and I'll store the data in this property. This dot equal to data. And I'll go to my HTML. And here, what I'm going to do is instead of this, we can simplify it. We can see what else is coming, what we want. So we only need this display data. So we can just use this property. I'll copy this name and say data dot display columns so i'll go to my html and i'll use a template if true directive and say if related list data is available then loads load the rest of the template and here i'm gonna run the loop for each because it's an array and for uh, rendering the array we need a loop for item i'll say info it's a each item and inside this i'll just simply print something inside the p tag and if we are using a loop we need a key property here and for, for key we can just see what all information we are getting we can just for time being we can print the api name and field api name and field api name is unique anyhow so for the key as well we can give that info dot field api name. so let's deploy this and see so this is our get related list info and be able to fetch the metadata for a specific related list and the related list name we can pass here along with the parent object api name in our case we are using account and context 
So let's go and see. I'll close the debugger. So on screen, we are just printing the field API name that is coming under the display columns. So that's all about the uh, get related list info wire adapter. And now I'll see you in the next video in which we'll talk about another adapters. Thank you for watching.